Good afternoon. It's uh, Sunday the 28th of April. Um, this is Lionheart84 here. My name's Brett. I just thought I would show the semi-dormant state of my seed-grown cherimoyas. That's, uh, I believe that's a nona cherimola. It's one of the custard apple family. Now these are a little bit different to some of the other custard apples as these ones apparently lose all their leaves. Uh, mine are about three years old now. Um, certainly come March, April the leaves tend to uh, turn yellow and uh, shortly afterwards they drop off the plants. Hasn't caused any problems in the last two years because within about two weeks of the leaves falling off all of the new shoots come out and interestingly the buds actually develop from don't think I better show it the new buds actually develop from out of the leaf axles um, might better show one here possibly once the leaves drop off instead of coming out of the leaf axles the buds actually come out from where the stems of the leaves were attached to the plant so it seems to be natural on these plants uh, I believe that if you're in a warm tropical climate all year round probably you'd only lose some leaves but in cooler climates the plants seem to have a short dormant period and drop their leaves and they probably use that uh, dropping the leaves to get rid of a load of uh, sort of waste materials that the plants store in the leaves um, certainly haven't had a problem with them they grew like mad last year afterwards now I gather the cherimoyas tend to grow in their natural habitat in sort of higher altitudes so been, certainly they seem to be one of the hardiest of the custard apple family um, I believe when the plants uh, trees have reasonably mature that they can uh, quite easily survive a very light frost without major damage I mean obviously this age it would be a problem but they seem to take temperatures down to 40 degrees so that's about sort of five degrees centigrade but 40 Fahrenheit without any real problems and certainly 45 Fahrenheit's no issue so you can go them grow them here in a reasonably protected conservatory or greenhouse um, I bring them inside into my kitchen in winter because I haven't got a greenhouse but uh, I would expect in two or three weeks time that all of these buds with the leaves have dropped off will be shooting out again and we should get plenty of growth this year in fact there's a good possibility I might even get some flowers on the plants this year because they're quite a fair size uh, I'm going to try and keep them to about six feet tall I've got three of them they're all about three years old I've just grew these from seed from fruits bought in the local supermarket so the chances are the fruit won't be very good quality if I ever get any fruit on them because you're better off to have uh, name varieties but uh, certainly I don't think I can focus but there's every leaf that's fallen off now has new buds coming out so um, nothing to worry about if you lose your leaves if you're in a warmer climate and lose all your leaves in the growing season I would suspect it's either going to be overwatering or underwatering or possibly some kind of virus but if you're in cooler climates and climates with shorter daylight hours in winter no need to worry about leaf loss uh, as it seems to be natural for cherimoyas doesn't seem to happen apparently to sour sops or sugar apples or some or relinias or some of the other varieties I think they pretty much stay evergreen unless they're stressed out but it's certainly nothing to worry about on the uh, cherimoyas so um, good luck to anybody else who's trying to grow them in our climate not proving to be easy but they'll be going outside in a month's time anyway shouldn't need to repot them this year as I think they'll be okay in those pots for another year or two um, just thought I'd show my uh, cherimoyas with all the leaves falling off uh, so that anyone else having the same thing happen shouldn't have to worry about it too much thank you for watching uh, appreciate it if anybody wishes to like click share or subscribe hit the bell if you want any notifications of new videos I'll try and do one or two on Sundays don't really get time to do them during the week but uh, those are my three cherimoyas seedlings so not a name variety uh, we'll see what keep them updated in the next year or two if I can keep them alive and see what happens thanks again for watching and bye for now